Hello and welcome back to today's video. I'm so excited to be getting a new video up for you guys. Um, today's video is going to be my New Year's resolutions and how I'm going, uh, how I'm planning on getting them done. If you guys are new here, my name is Lizzie Perkins. I am a college student from New York. I go to school in Kentucky and basically this is just my channel to show you guys basically my life and how I'm living. Um, I cheer at my university and yeah so without further ado let's get into my new year's resolutions for 2021. Obviously 2020 was a wreck of a year. It was horrible for many reasons um, and I'm just really glad that it's over honestly. I can't wait to start this new year and get things done and hopefully get rid of the co coronavirus because that is probably the worst part that happened in 2020. Um, I'm so excited to just start new, get, get new things done. So I have a list of my goals for this year um, and I'm kind of going to go through, tell you guys what my goals are, how I plan to accomplish these goals, how I'm using um technology to get help me get through my goals all that stuff and hopefully i can keep making videos for you guys so you guys can see me progress through my goals throughout the year so um first and foremost i am using my ipad this is the notability app if you guys saw my video where i showed you guys how i use my ipad for school that was probably f three or four videos back um no actually two videos back maybe I don't know. Anyways, um, I talk about using Notability for school and that kind of stuff. So that is the app that I'm using right now. I made this pretty little like graphic. I'm not sure if you guys can see that very much, but I made this pretty little graphic kind of thing that just has my top five goals and then like steps to achieve each goal in this year. So I'm going to go through that to kind of show you guys what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. Hopefully I'm going to like update you guys, you know, in a couple weeks or a couple months with how I'm going. But anyways, all right, let's just get into it because anyways, so my goals for 2021 are make Matt for Daytona, save $10,000 by 2022, be my happiest and healthiest self, get a 4.0 every semester, and get a lot of work experience. Um, so I give you guys some background on some of those. Obviously, you guys probably don't know what some of those means. So to make Matt for Daytona, um, basically my university has three competition teams and um there's only 20 people allowed on each team and there's about 80 people in the program i'd say probably around 80 people in the program so it's very prestigious to make matt for daytona which is our competition in april obviously hoping that it will still happen we don't know yet but hoping and praying that it will still happen in person that is the goal um because my freshman year I didn't make Matt and I would just love to this year. So my that is my first goal and I'll show you guys the steps that I have written down. So the first step I have is be a dependable teammate and someone others want on their team. Basically just be, account, be accountable, be a good teammate, be someone that other people want to be around and that other people want to be on their team. Because if you have a bad attitude, if you're not dependable, if you're not working hard, no one's gonna want you on their team. They want hardworking people. So that is my first step. Um, my second step is have good clean tumbling on hard floor. So if you guys didn't know, college cheerleading, we compete on hard floor, which is basically just mats on like a concrete or mats on a gym floor. Um, and that's much different than all-star, which is on spring. So, um, to have good clean cut tumbling on hard floor is going to be a bit bigger plus because that's what we would compete on. My third one is take corrections quickly and make changes. Um, I kind of struggle with making changes in corrections super fast. So we could be doing a stunt for something and then I'd be like, grab the foot faster. And it's gonna take me a few seconds, a few tries to see where I need to grab the foot so that I'm faster. It's that kind of thing. It's, it's trying to make myself better so that I can do things better that will help other people in my group or on my team. Um, and then the fourth one I have is work towards my standing full. I used to have it, I lost it, that's that. Um, and then the last one I have for that 
it is always work hard and never give up. It's really hard to see yourself working very hard and not see results with anything, not just cheerleading, not just fitness with anything. It's hard. It's, it's difficult to work hard for something and not see results or not see the thing that you expected to happen. So my goal with that is to always work hard, but never give up. Even if I don't get, you know, my specific goal of getting my standing full, if I'm always working hard, I will get it someday back without a doubt. But you just have to keep continuing to work hard and doing what you know you need to do. So that is the steps that I have written down as of right now for the first goal that I have. The second goal that I have, which is saving $10,000 by 2022. Um, I only have three steps for that one just because it's pretty, it's, it's not like super hard to like save money. Um, so the first one I have is deposit set amount into savings each week. So I found this graphic on Pinterest that has a set like amount that you deposit each week into your savings account. And then by the end of the year, you should have $10,000 in your account. Um, I started to do that and then I, what had happened? I, oh, I paid my rent <laughs> for like three months. So then I couldn't do it anymore. But yeah, um, you just go through and like put that amount into your savings account each week it's really not hard um and then the second step is see note and notes app i have a note in my notes um that says like what amount to po put in each week and then the third is don't spend on non-necessities that was my big problem this year was i bought a lot of clothes obviously i love clothes and like they're a necessity but i don't need that much stuff for what i'm doing um, and I would say, honestly, I need more like work clothes than work out clothes, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Um, obviously that's going to be really difficult to manage and figure out, you know, this is exactly what I need to do to fix myself. But yeah. So my third goal is be my happiest and healthiest self. Um, this is probably the most specific to me personally, and I'm not saying that everyone should do this or any of these in all honesty i'm not saying anyone should do any of these or all of these or whatever but this one's the most specific to, to me because it does deal with my fitness and my happiness um so my first step for that is to lose 10 to 15 pounds now in 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 all honesty i i really don't care what the number on the scale says I want to feel healthy. I want to feel like I'm not losing breath walking up three flights of stairs, even though that's like really normal. I don't want to feel winded when I am have to walk somewhere. You know what I mean? Like I just, I want to be healthy and I want to feel good in my own body. So I'm more concerned with feeling better, whether that is losing, pound, losing weight or gaining weight. I just want to feel better for myself. Um, and I think that's kind of, where the difference is is like it would be great to lose my weight but i don't want it to be unhealthy for me so that is that another thing the next thing i have is no fast food at all i got into the habit this semester of getting fast food after practice um and i know there's much better ways to make food for after practice like i can just pre make food before practice and then heat it up after practice or you know there's plenty of different things so I just I don't want any more fast food I just don't <laughs> it's, it's also a lot of money to eat fast food so yeah um my third is to get some type of workout every day whether it's taking a walk around the block or doing a weightlifting workout or even practice because practice is a whole workout in itself I just want to be able to get active for maybe an hour or 30 minutes, just at least once a day so that I know that I am doing what I can to help better myself, essentially. But also I don't want to feel bad about missing a day because you're totally allowed to miss a day here and there and you're going to be fine. Like you just need that for your mental health. So I'm going to hopefully try to stick to that. My fourth one is be honest to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Don't sugarcoat things. It's it's all on you to decide how you react to your own self. And I think that's that's going to be like my big thing is like I need to be honest with myself. So, yes. 
And then the, the fifth one is to have a good relationship with myself and with my boyfriend. Um, we have a great relationship. I just would love to keep that up. I don't want anything to go negatively. We've only been dating for a couple of months, so we still have a long ways to go, but who knows? I, I hope we last. So yeah, I'm going to take a coffee break. I got a Duncan. This might be my last Duncan for a long time. Which is scary. All right. What's next? Um, my next goal is to get a 4.0 every semester. So a little like background on that one. I got my first 4.0 semester this past fall that we just finished, fall 2020. And it was really, it felt really good to like see my hard work pay off. So my goal for the next year is for fall or for spring and fall of next year this coming year, I guess, whatever, um, is to get 4.0s both semesters. So that is my goal. Um, the first step in that one is to study hard. I, I've gotten pretty used to studying, so hopefully I can continue to work on my studying skills so that I can understand the information better. Second one is don't settle for anything less than a 100. Especially, that is like my biggest tip in getting A's is if you have multiple tries on an assignment, and you don't get a 100 the first time take it either as many times as you can to get the highest score or take it until you get a 100 because those are going to help your G your grade in that class so much and I've been trying to do this since high school if I had like you know um tries like multiple attempts on an assignment try to do it until you can get a 100 because you're going to need those extra points that you get from the 100 maybe somewhere else where you get an 80 so it evens out to a 90 you know what I mean like it's just you're you should always be trying to achieve the highest on something because that's what's going to help you in the long run and then the last like little point on that one is don't be complacent if you have a 93 in a class and you need a 93 in the class to get an A at the end of the semester but it's only the beginning keep trying keep working hard because you never know what can happen you could get a really hard unit and you just bomb every single assignment and every single test you're gonna need those extra points that if you could get a 100 on that first unit and then a 100 on the next unit you're not gonna be so bad during that unit that you're not doing good on that's kind of how I see things obviously take it how you will don't stress obviously we're in the middle of a global pandemic so that's that's totally different all in itself but th that's my goals and my steps for getting A's in all my classes. So my last goal is to get a lot of work experience. So I have two internships already lined up for this year. I have one in the spring semester down in Kentucky, um, which are both accounting um, in terms. So I'm really, really interns, internships. So I'm really excited for those. So I have one in Kentucky in the spring and then one in New York in the summer. So I'm really excited for both of those. I like literally can't wait to start. I start in like a week and a half for the first one. But my three steps for that is work hard, be patient, and love what you do. I think for me, I learn the best hands-on experience. So that's why I'm really excited about these internships because you learn so much hands-on. So I'm really excited to see... I guess like what I learn and how that relates to what I'm learning in school and how I can use it and that kind of thing because this is what I want to go into which is accounting and I want to see if I really like it just as much as I think I do because you never know. So that is everything I have for my goals and my steps to achieve those goals. I would say getting something like this or like a piece of paper or literally anything that you can actually write out all of your goals and your steps to attain them and like that kind of thing is going to help so much with those. Um, and I think that's like a really awesome way to ensure that you kind of are on the right track with your goals. Um, another thing that I am going to start doing probably is within my like daily planner having a set amount of goals that I need to get done each day that will help me lead towards that obviously with homework and stuff that stuff is going to be going towards you know getting a 4.0 every semester revising something is towards that 
but even just like working out every day you could put that in there or um making sure if you have something to do at work putting that in that will help you and it's just all kinds of stuff like that to keep you kind of organized and make sure that you are trying to get stuff done every day so that if that is what you want to do if you do want to be productive every day that's what you can do but then maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday randomly don't put anything on your list and you can have a day to yourself to do nothing I mean I have plenty of those days especially right now when I'm at home in New York and not doing anything but yeah so that is my suggestions for the new year if anyone has any other suggestions for the new year for me or for other people watching this video definitely leave a comment down below um but I'm so excited for this year. Today, I just bought Kelly Yeager's new guide for the year. And I'm probably going to take my pictures after this and then start the guide tonight. I'm so excited for it. I, I love her. She's like my favorite YouTuber and fitness person ever. I, I seriously love her. If you guys don't know who she is, she's the best. Um, her name's Kelly Yeager. So you can just YouTube her or Google her or Instagram her and you can find her. She's awesome. But yeah, I'm really excited for that and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos like this. If you guys want to see progress videos, fitness videos, literally anything, let me know and I will totally do that for you guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and give this video a big thumbs up before you leave. Bye guys.